A huge hurricane is about to hit the team warehouse and it looks like it's gonna put our house completely underwater. Will we survive or will the team warehouse get destroyed forever? Stick around to find out. Oh my. We are in a torrential downpour. It's the worst I've ever seen. Barely can see the lake. And it's thundering and lightning like crazy out here. This is actually insane. I should take a ride. I wanna go to my property and see what else is flooded and leaking. The craziest downpours we've ever had. The thunder and lightning is insane. There we go. Now I'm trying to drive right now and it's literally insane. Oh my gosh, the driveway. Guys, this is really not good at all. The Timur house is literally flooding. The lake is overflowing and I'm worried the whole house is gonna end up underwater. Oh, this is like a swamp. It's completely underwater. What? I think the car is leaking. That's how bad. I'm getting dripped on here. It's getting worse as we go down. Oh, the lightning is crazy. What? Oh my gosh, we can't even see that house. You can see the dock from here, but you can't see anything further. So the horse barn is completely flooded. That concrete pad is under like four inches of water right there. Two floods in one day, Carter's life. I don't know what else I can handle today, but I am worried that my whole house is gonna be completely underwater soon. At this point, the storm was so bad that I decided I had to leave. So I got in my car and began to drive home. This is when things started to get much worse. I'm all loaded up. Oh, and there's lightning strike everywhere, guys. I'm driving like right into a major store. Look at what I'm driving into. Oh my gosh. It literally looks like I might get struck by lightning. I'm literally getting closer and driving. I just passed a huge sign that said, warning, reduced speed, low visibility ahead, storm approaching. Looks like I'm driving right into it. Trying to drive through this huge storm in a big metal car and my phone was starting to send me warnings saying there was a tornado coming. I needed to get home fast. Oh my gosh, it's getting so dark. It's not even sunset yet. The, oh, the lightning's getting crazier. The storm is getting crazier. The, the rain, the wind. Oh my gosh, look at that thing blowing across the highway. Oh, it's like a tornado, guys. I think I'm driving in a tornado right now. Oh my gosh. I'm slowing down. Everyone's got their hazards on. Guys, this is insane right now. Oh my gosh, look at the visibility. Oh my gosh, it's getting lit. Oh man, I, guys, I think I'm driving through a tornado. Look at this, I cannot even see outside. I'm turning my hazards on. Guys, I can't see, I'm literally having to stop going on my way right now. This is insane. What? I could get struck by lightning literally any second. I'm going 25 miles an hour in a 70. That's the speed limit, but you can't even see the sign. Look at that. The visibility is impossible. Everybody is just parked on the freeway right now. This is literally the craziest time I have ever seen. Oh my gosh, that guy almost hit me. I don't even think I can see. I cannot believe this is what's happening. This literally doesn't even feel like real life. This is literally insane. Okay, that doesn't make it any better. I was trying to show you guys what it felt like out the window. Cars are really cars. All right, I'm going less than 20 miles out. I'm going 18 and a 70. Cars are just sitting. I'm pretty sure we just drove through a North Park I'm just, oh, oh my gosh, there. But lightning is going insane. Guys, I definitely do not want to get struck right now. I might go into this bridge and park. There's some shelter up here. That could be good. Oh my gosh. This is insane. I'm literally parked on the highway, guys. Look at the rain coming down. We have other cars parked. I, I can't tell if it's letting up right now. I don't think so. I'm just looking at this. It literally looks nighttime, but it's not even nighttime yet. This is actually insane. The craziest part of it, other than the lightning and the rain, is the wind. I'm gonna roll up the window, I can't hear anything. It's so loud. I've seen some weather on Carter's life, but that might have been the craziest thing that I've ever driven through. I mean, the highway's still flowing. Everyone's going about 20 miles an hour. It looks like we, it might have passed, but that quite literally might have been a tornado. And I think I might have driven through it because that I was about to blow my car off the road. And now I'm parking in the middle of the highway and I gotta figure out how to get myself out of this situation. I'm stuck under a bridge. What? The hard part now is I need to figure out how to get back onto the highway from zero miles an hour. It's actually very dangerous. Okay, hang on. Power up. 
We're gonna go. We're merging. Oh, and the rain is still here. Yeah, I felt like it stopped because I was under the bridge. Okay, it's still pretty nasty out. Oh, I think I jumped the gun, guys. Cars are still parked on the highway. Look at that. Not even moving. Okay. I had a false sense of hope there for a second. I gotta get out of the left thing. I don't want to go faster than some of these other cars are trying to go. We are in the thick of it for sure. Yeah, my hazard is still on. The lightning is still thumping. I am still in the eye of the tornado. Oh God, this is insane. The lightning is literally every two seconds. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to make it. This video has been the craziest episode of Carter's life. I, I, I'm shook. More people are just parked under this bridge, just doing nothing, trying to wait it out. That was crazy. Oh my gosh. The highway is literally flooded. That was insane. I finally made it home and I thought my troubles were over, but then this happened. It's the next day, I made it back to the team warehouse and here is the aftermath of that tornado. You can see the cop car is just covered in leaves. The front driveway as we pull up, oh my gosh, look at this, all the leaves fell off. Oh my gosh, it's a whole mess. The whole property is looking just like it's raining leaves, pine needles. We lost power last night until midnight. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. It's kind of hard to see through the camera, but uh, yeah, this place looks like something, some heavy winds came through, shook up everything, and it's kind of messy. It's a little bit cleaned up because of the cars driving down. It kind of helped blow off the driveway, but uh, yeah, it must have been pretty crazy here last night. Look at all of the branches that fell off of this tree. Those are, all, it's all like, bark or something this whole tree just shedded you got stuck in a home depot because of the storm for an hour yeah <laughs> i couldn't I got leave. stuck on the highway under a no bridge. you didn't yes Are i had to kidding? pull off the road dude no way i was walking yeah i vlogged it it was crazy oh my god yeah i couldn't leave and then when i tried to drive home like all the uh the stop lights were completely out really yeah like four of them on the we way we literally survived the tornado yeah <laughs> dude it, it was on the east coast there were multiple tornadoes yesterday i am finally back at the team our house except i'm seeing a bunch of random people on the property. I think something's going on, guys. I gotta figure out. Right over by the tennis, over the cozy shack, the tennis cabana. There's a lot of people standing on the roof. It's so weird. Andrew, what's going on out here? Oh, we got a flood. It's crazy. At the They're cabana. Gonna turn off all the uh, water. We have three big tanks of water over here. I gotta go drain them. Oh, really? Quick. Is yeah. it leaking right now? Yeah, they want to turn the water off. Oh my gosh, guys. What is happening? Guys, my house actually flooded and the guest house is destroyed. I'm really freaking out and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. If you saw last week's episode, you'll know that we had a huge storm hit the team raw house and I ended up driving right through a tornado. I think I'm driving into a tornado right now. Guys, I think I'm driving through a tornado. This literally doesn't even feel like real life. Well, unfortunately, the storm ended up flooding the team raw house. And today, I want to show you guys all the damage. But first, let's see the footage of when my sister first discovered the flooding. <gasps> oh, oh, can you see that? It's a pile of water. Oh, it's like a little river here. My foot is completely in water. Oh my goodness. Look at all this. It's like a pool. That is a lot of water. Oh, and it's all down here too, right up against the house. Okay, well, let's head inside. Hold on, I'm scared. Oh my goodness, what does that smell? Oh my goodness, wait. There's water. There's water on the floor. Wait a second, is there like a leak somewhere? There's so much water. <gasps> and the rug, it's all wet. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is flooded. This is not good. That's so much water. And it gets deeper down there. Andrew, what's going on out here? Oh, we got a flood. It's crazy. At the They're cabana? Gonna turn off all the uh, water. We have three big tanks of water over here. I gotta go drain them. Oh, really? really quick. Is yeah. it leaking right now? Yeah, they wanna turn the water off. Right. Oh my gosh, guys. What is happening? Yo, what's up? How you doing? How's the leak looking? Oh, oh the pinhole leak. You can see leak. where it's coming from. There. That's all it is? That valve doesn't work. So that's all it was? Er oh, boy. 
Whoa, look at that. Oh my goodness, there is so much water on the floor. <gasps> look, it's over here too. Oh my goodness. This place is like flooding. Oh, I'm literally walking on water. Like, look, oh my goodness, I hope that's not toilet water. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh my, that is not good. Oh, it's all soaking wet. So it was gushing right here out of this hole in the concrete. That's where the leak was? Mm -hmm. It's just coming out. That's nasty. So is Guys, this whole cabana is a complete wreck. I mean, here is part of the wall that was cut out to find the leak. It was dripping through the walls for days. You can see that it was probably flooded. This is crazy. I mean, people, I don't know who originally found this. It kind of looks like water damage here, which means did the water come up this high? That's like higher than me. This is so not good. I don't know what to do. Oh, this is a disaster. This is absolutely a disaster. Oh my, um. <laughs> it looks like someone was kind of here before I got back while I was gone addressing the leak. The cabinet door just fell off. This is so odd, guys. If you know anything about this, definitely comment down below. This is some serious stuff. It's gonna cost a lot of money to fix this. I mean, look at all these people trying to solve the leak. I don't know what to do. This is so bad. I did not plan for this. Did this carpet get wet? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the whole thing. The whole thing got wet. Heavy. Let's lay it on a trampoline, too, could be a good spot. This thing is heavy. Oh, it's so wet. Oh, my gosh. Look how much water is just yeah. dripping out of this. Oh, this is a disaster. We're cutting out the broken piece of that pipe. We're gonna see what the hole actually looks like. Is that it? Yeah. You see a leak? You can pick it up. Okay. Well, well look at that. Yeah. yeah. You think that's spread? That's, that's gotta be. Put it right yeah. here on the fence. It's, it's small. Uh, Let's see if that splits. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that it was it. That's it. <laughs> there it is. That was it. Yeah, that's the. That was. Yeah, you see, you see that. That's where it was. Yeah, there it is. Oh, horrible. I mean, as far as like damage, I mean, we'll see how much drywall needs to be cut out. I guess. Oh no. So we gotta cut out all of it. Maybe he won't take all these. Just this one. Yeah. 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 We don't want the mold. Well, hopefully we can keep it dry and get this cranking down to zero humidity and make zero. it. Zero. Yeah. I am back down to the tennis cabana and guys, let's check this thing out because we have had done a ton of work in here since the flood. It's not perfectly clean and put back together, but it's looking a lot better. And the best part is, da 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 check out the bathroom guys it looks perfect the wall is put back and painted we have a new vanity toilets back in no more leak let's see if the water works ah, and the water is working that is amazing nice and dry in here the dehumidifier is cranking it smells good i think we got most of the mold out so this is definitely looking amazing the only thing is the hurricane is coming and we are probably about T minus three hours away. It's nice and sunny, but it is actively moving up the coast as we speak from Florida, going to Georgia, South Carolina, and it's gonna hit us here in North Carolina in three hours. <sighs> and with the luck that we've had, the property is gonna flood. Hopefully this doesn't flood, but I have a feeling something else is gonna be flooding. And I'm really curious to see how hard it's gonna hit. Hopefully it's not so bad. I am worried, however, for this. That's just floating around out there and there is nothing securing it to the mat. It's literally just sitting, just standing on that. So I feel like maybe we should pull that in, otherwise that's gonna sink to the bottom and then we'll have a bigger problem while the fish go scuba diving to fish that out. It's crazy because we haven't gotten rain in a while. I woke up because I heard things just like busted and it is flooding out here, guys. The house, I mean, not even kidding. Literally, we're flooding. It's only rained a few days in the six months that we've been here, and we're getting a big rain now, and the driveway is like flooding. The storm drains are going. I've actually been praying for rain because we've had so little rain out here, and the lake level's gone down. And you can see now, I mean, the grass is flooding in the lake. Oh my. It's almost full now. The driveway is like flooded and that drain could not keep up. It is flowing like crazy. The other thing guys is the jet boat is floated away. It's up against the rocks. It was over there because it's on like the beach. The 
that beach has shrunk so much because we got so much water. That was one of the first signs that I knew that the amount of rain that we're getting is a lot. I think we've gotten like two inches over the course of like just the night, which is it's a lot of rain. I'm now back in the woods and you can see it is like flooding. It is deep. We're making it through. It's not muddy yet, but I mean, it's going to be. Look at this. Whoa! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. I literally spoke too soon. That was a lot muddier than I thought it was. Okay. I gotta be more careful. This thing is only two-wheel drive and totally does get stuck. Oh my gosh. We're going. We're bussing. Uh-oh. Here's the big one. Uh-oh. I'm gonna try to swerve it a little bit. We made it. Out to the field. I'm gonna see how uh, flooded the field is. Sometimes there's a lot of water in the grass. So we're gonna kinda look around and see. I mean, this water is gonna be good for all the grass. I think it's gonna be so lush and green after this, so I am definitely happy. It honestly looks pretty good out here. I literally found a little waterfall. Check it out, guys. All of this drainage from these hills or whatever is coming down this right here, and it's literally filling the lake as we speak. There's literally a waterfall. That's so cool. Yeah. Wow. Rainwater waterfall. The entire Timur house is flooded, guys. I went to bed and when I woke up the next morning, we had the craziest rainstorm that we've ever had since moving to the Timur house. And so I got some footage of what the house was looking like during the rain. Every creek and every pond was completely swamped and flooded and it could have caused serious damage. Just look at the water level. It is like three, four times the height that it's supposed to be. This is not good at all. It's the next day, the sun is finally shining and I'm here to look at the aftermath for the first time. And immediately I can see a huge island. It's like a peninsula right there. The water's super muddy. Things are slowly starting to dry out. But this was completely underwater. And this was just not even there before. This entire island of like sediment with a log on top. The water is still very full. Look at those drain pipes, almost completely buried. It looks like the dam did not or like bust out, which is great. That's something that has definitely happened in the past. It's been rebuilt, so I think it's been rebuilt a lot stronger. You can see the water was all the way up to like this line right here. And it was just flowing over on both sides. I don't even think we have video footage of the fullest it, it ever was, but you can clearly see, oh my gosh. Look at all of this. As the water came and hit the fence, I guess it dropped sediment here. So this is just a bunch of gravel and rocks. This is still flowing pretty hard. The dam looks great though. This whole piece does not look eroded. The grass is holding it up just fine. But uh, these pipes look a bit clogged. Man, I wonder if those would be easy to unclog. I don't even know if I can get down there. I'm trying to unclog this pipe. Okay, I got it to unclog a little bit. Oh my gosh, there's so much in there. But they are definitely unclogging. I can't even pull it out. It's flowing a lot better now. I don't know if it's fully unclogged or what. I think it's flowing more on this side now. We got a huge piece of log. How'd that even get there? That probably came across when it was flooding and landed there. I'm just not noticing this huge log here. There's a huge log. There's that one all the way over there. Man, it's crazy what flooding can do. Oh, we're gonna cry. Wait, there's a storm? Get out of here. I'm out jet skiing on the water with my brother and sister and a huge thunderstorm is coming right towards us. This is not good. The wind is picking up. We're gonna get stuck in the storm. <laughs> Quick! Wait, it's definitely coming. We're gonna go. Do we have to drive into the storm first? Yeah. Uh -oh. We gotta get out of here. Oh, there was lightning again, I saw it. That was the third one, it's getting closer. <laughs> the coast freaking out. <laughs> Uh-oh, the storm siren. Check this out, nice and sunny right here, but then over here, storm clouds. You gotta get back. It's crazy because the sun is coming out, but it's so stormy over there. You can see it rolling in. We gotta go a little faster. Look at this guy, he's out running the storm. He's trying to get home, but we have to go the other way. Oh, there's more lightning. There is no safe place to be outside during a thunderstorm, but by far the worst place you could be is on the water. I should have known. I checked the weather report earlier and it said a big storm was coming in, but I went out anyways and now we are in big trouble. How are we gonna get home? I don't know. Is it this way? I don't even know how to get home. Okay. Oh, I can see lightning. There's a lot of lightning. Yeah. Guys, this vlog is taking the turn to the worst. It's pretty scary. 
we're getting closer to home, but it is starting to get dark. We just came out of the sun, and the sun isn't even shining much anymore. It's kind of getting blocked by other clouds. I think we still have a couple miles to go. Oh, the first rain drops in. These jet skis are leaving. This is a no wake zone, but they're like, we need to get on a plane and get out of here. So they're just breaking the rules to get away from the lightning and the storm. I don't think they have any idea that they're driving right into a storm with lightning and lightning rods on their boat. That's a little crazy. Oh, there's more lightning. We better get home soon. We just made it. Oh, Grace jumped in. What the heck? Why'd you jump in? I fell off. You fell off? You better get out before the lightning storm comes. We barely made it back to shore in time, but this is just the start of our problems. The lightning is getting bigger and bigger and it's coming right towards us. I really hope we don't get struck. We got the jet skis back. Great, but the storm is still coming. There's lightning every few seconds. The wind is picking up a little bit more. Oh, you can hear the thunder rumbling in the distance. Oh my gosh. The house is flooding. What do you mean? Listen, the rain is going through there. Oh, oh. oh God, I think that's the storm. I'm gonna peek outside. I just shared, but I think the storm hit. It only took a few minutes. Oh my goodness. It is <gasps> stormy with lightning. The jet skis barely made it back in time. <gasps> oh! Steve, I think the lightning just struck the house. Did you feel it? Oh my gosh, it's lightning it. So much. It's the most lightning I've ever seen. Hopefully, we didn't leave anything outside. Oh my gosh, Chris, there's so much lightning. Guys, this is not good. The house is taking on a major water. Everything is flooded, and it sounds like there's a tornado outside. I'm honestly afraid the house is gonna collapse or worse. Oh. What's up, guys? We had to start rolling on the cameras again because the storm is getting worse. There's oh. lightning striking like every few seconds. The lights are flickering. Oh, this is bad. We gotta get inside. Yeah, but we also experienced some of the highest highs that we have seen all year during a thunderstorm, which is making it worse. So the whole island might be flooding. In your house, we might lose power. We might flood. The pool's overflowing right now. The pool's overflowing. Oh, the pool is literally overflowing. Oh my goodness! Careful, don't get struck. You see that? Oh! Oh! oh my god! This is literally insane, guys. This is like no joke. Bro. Stephen is actually scared. All right, mini golf is canceled. Okay, no mini golf. I don't think we're gonna go out and get ice cream. No. It's gonna be hard to celebrate Nicole's birthday. Coming, blowing in here. Come on. We might lose power. We might not be able to celebrate Nicole's birthday. Grace, what are you doing? Oh my goodness. The storm on this island is so crazy that we have to start saving power. So I turned off some lights and I put a candle so we can get some light because we're about to lose power. Yeah. There's too much energy during the storm on this island. Yeah, that's true. If we turn oh my gosh, the, the lightning is we crazy. We have to save power so we don't lose it. The more lights we turn off, the less chance we'll get struck by lightning. Yeah. We have to conserve energy. Because I heard on the news to turn our air conditioners off. Is that what they say during yes, a lightning? Because there's too many people running high low temperature air conditioners. They want us to turn them off. Guys, this storm is so bad right now. Look how bad the wind is over there. And the lightning is literally unbelievable. Carter, Carter, come here, I want to show you something. What, Mom? What's going on? Oh my gosh, the house is literally flooding. What the heck? Look at that. It looks like we're underwater. It's just pouring. How is that possible? No, is that horrible? How am I going to get home? Oh my god. Honor and Cooper at that tiny house. Oh my god. Steven, the, we're underwater. It's coming. It's filling. Generator flashlight. Mom, I think we do have an issue with yeah. the house because you see this. Yeah. It's uh -oh. water damage. That's water damage. I don't. It didn't, didn't happen again. Yeah. I, I know. Oh, the street's starting to flood. Oh, we Oh, the street's definitely flooding. Oh my god. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. It's so far. The street's, Mom, flooding. It's a the street's flooding. The street's flooding. Wait. If anyone wants to check it out. The window. I, I just saw that. Grace, we gotta go outside. This window is always leaking. Yeah, that's not good. Are you saw it here? Yeah. The street is literally flooding right now. This is not good. Oh, wow. Is it actually flooded? Oh, it's literally flooding. <gasps> Steven, your Lambos are gonna get wet. I know. The Tesla is sitting in prime flood. Oh my gosh. I do it by rain, so I brought a poncho. I'll go out and save the Mom, I can't put a poncho on. 
I can't go out there. There's too much lightning. It's like 52 seconds. You're getting struck. What about the car? Mom. <laughs> Don't go out there. It's too dangerous. I want to go look at them before it's too late. They were already flooding when I came here. They're just from the tide. Mom, do not go out there. It's too dangerous. Oh, it just struck behind you. What was that? I don't know. Come on, let's go inside. Is it? Later that night, after the storm died down, we decided to go on a drive and see the damage. <gasps> oh my god. Gosh, the bench is completely flooded. Oh, you can see the water moving. It's, it's like, a raging river. Oh, it's flowing across the street. Oh, wow. That is not good. This street is completely oh, the car's flooded. Gonna get flooded. And it goes all the way through the sidewalk into their yard. Really? It's flooding into their yard. Is it getting worse or better? That car is almost under. This car literally is almost under. The whole island was literally underwater. Everything was flooded. Look at the water, guys. The front yard to the house was completely underwater. It's this corner house is bad. Wow. That is so bad. Oh, look at their drains working. Oh, wow. What about that though? It went up and now it's going back down. It came out of those drains to begin with. Oh. It comes out of the city sewer. But it's underwater. Because it's like, that is their yard. That part portion of the yard is underwater completely. There was a hurricane that hit the team bar house. It flooded the whole street and my $80,000 jet boat ended up taking on water and started to sink. Stick around because you guys are not going to want to miss this. I think it's starting a lot earlier than I thought. Hurricane? Is, is this the hurricane or is it just a rain? It's the beginning of the hurricane. I, I think it is. I thought it was coming tomorrow. It literally it just started. It was like sunny a second ago. I thought the hurricane was on schedule tomorrow. It must have moved up the coast faster. Dude, oh my god! Oh, oh it is. Not, okay, I think it's definitely the hurricane. It is dumping. Look at that. The fountain is like boiling. I can't even see across the lake now. Oh, it's starting. It is starting, Ryan. Yeah, I'm worried we might lose power. It literally looks like it's snow. Did you buy candles and stuff and the power goes in? No, I didn't get any. Did you buy any soup? I didn't even get my one wheel <laughs> out of the rain. At least that would be better. Oh, and the charger. That's not good. I can feel it over here. It looks like a really odd looking rain. That's definitely a hurricane rain. Oh, it smells Something so about it. It smells like the Gulf of Mexico. Oh. Did you imagine if like fish start to fall in from the sky? There's a, a cow. Sometimes uh, fish can rain. No, they don't. Yeah, there's certain hurricane. spouts. No, not. It's like more of like a red water spout. In a storm, they lift up fish. I've seen it. Oh, it's dumping, Ryan. Ryan loves the rain. I want to go look at the swimming pool. It's really starting to come down now. I thought I was going to go ride at the track tonight, but like, apparently not. Oh, wait, what? Guys, the hurricane is literally just hitting because over here, it's blue skies. The front of the house is in a storm right now. But the back, it's literally sunny. This is so weird. Look at that. It's so cloudy and then sunny. I, I, I don't get it. Maybe the hurricane's coming across. I'll keep you posted on how crazy this is about to get. A few hours later, I had to drive to my apartment and all of a sudden, the hurricane started to get crazy. Well, it wasn't raining that bad a minute ago and it just picked up again. I'm trying to drive and you can see my view and I'm going pretty slow. Is that lightning? I can't even see out the windshield to drive. That's lightning. I got my hazards on. You can see I'm blanking. You can see the car up there kind of blanking. You can barely see it. Oh my gosh. So the last time I was in a situation like this was only a couple of weeks ago. Except this time it's literally a hurricane coming. Last time I think it was a crazy storm that I thought it was a hurricane. And you guys said, do not stop under an overpass. I was reading all the comments. So many of you guys said that. Thank you for commenting that to keep me safe. Because this time it's legit a hurricane. <laughs> This is terrifying. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh. Okay, we're starting to flood. The highway is starting to flood. I saw it splashing on the other side. I, I'm trying my best to pull the drive at the same time, but it's hard to capture all this stuff for you guys. I cannot believe this. The lightning just struck something right in front of me. I wasn't recording, but I saw a beam of lightning strike the bridge up there. Oh. Uh-oh, guys, they're breaking the rules. That's not, there's, there's 
stopping. They're stopping under the overpass. As you guys said, that's not the move. So I'm not gonna do it. I don't have any way to tell them because I would say it stops Oh my god. Uh, this is so deja vu. I feel like I was already vlogging this like a few days ago. This is literally insane. I wonder what it's gonna be like when I get to the city. There's a car flipped over upside down. Whoa. Guys, that is insane. Oh, and here's the first responders to it. Oh my gosh, okay, so this pre-hurricane is already wreaking havoc. The hurricane isn't here yet. That guy was in some serious trouble driving off the road flipping over and I missed it just by like a couple minutes. That is crazy. Finally, it is clearing up. And as it turns out, according to the radar, that wasn't even the hurricane, that was just a rain. It is still T minus 24 hours until the hurricane hits. So I can't even imagine if that was just a regular rain cloud, what is a hurricane going to be like? Uh, I don't know. It's going to be insane, but also obviously a little bit nervous. But it is beautiful here. I also wonder if it's going to hit the team warehouse directly or if it's going to swerve us. Right now it's off the coast in the Atlantic Ocean and it's heading our way. It's hard to say exactly where it's going to hit, so there's all these kinds of predictions and stuff. But if it hits us dead on, I think we're going to be in some serious trouble. The area that I'm living in does get hurricanes that can hit us from time to time, not necessarily as severe or frequent as Florida, but they do come up the coast up into North Carolina and they can hit us. And this might be the very first time I'm about to experience one. Okay, we made it to the top of the highest tower. Let's take a look out and see. Okay, the storm is over there. That's where I came from. But over this way, it's sunny. And what's crazy is the hurricane is off that way over the coast. And this is just like one of the rain clouds. And I drove through that craziness. I wonder if it's coming this way. But for me right now, it is a sunny, clear blue sky. And it's crazy how the weather can be so isolated in some parts but then so sunny and beautiful over this way into the sunset. It is now T minus five hours till the hurricane is going to hit and it looks like a pretty nice day. I mean, it's not sunny, lots of clouds that are rolling over and the hurricane is gonna be here in literally like five hours. So I guess we just kind of had to sit and wait for this thing to hit. Later that day, the hurricane hit and it was not good. There were heavy winds and a lot of streets flooded. Check that out, a little bit of flooding there. What a mess. And you can see it's really slowing down drivers there. But the next day, I headed to the Team Roar house to see the damage. And the first thing I saw was my boat sinking. I just got down to the dock, guys, and I was noticing that something didn't look right with the jet boat. The swim platform is basically in the water. It looks like it's sinking. And sure enough, the jet boat is completely swamped full of water, which is totally not good. Look at this. Oh, the engine is literally sitting in water. This is an extremely expensive boat and it's basically flooded. I really hope this thing is not totaled because literally everything on the property is flooding right now. I just cannot, I just feel like I can't win. I'm gonna try and see if we can power this thing up. Oh gosh. There goes the bilge. Okay, so at least that's running. You can see how much water is coming out. Half of it's splashing back into the boat. Probably should see if she's gonna start. Okay, she's running, she's bilging. We're gonna just let it run and Because there is so much water that needs to come out of this thing. It's still building. Luckily, we were able to save my boat from sinking and the Team Raw House survived the storm. But the next day, I drove into town and saw this. I'm driving around, guys, check out this Jeep. I don't know what is going on, but look at that tire. How did that happen? Did it just explode right there when he parked? Or was that when he was driving? That makes no sense. It must have been a blowout, but then how did he drive it to get there? I'm so confused, that is the strangest thing I've ever seen. Home alone at Carter's house. Um, there's a big storm, so we'll just keep working until I guess I get a warning on the phone. But they said high winds and lots of rain, school's canceled, and the crew left already, so I'm home alone. Oh. What's that noise? I hear alone. They're really expecting a lot of rain and wind, so it could be bad on the roads. Oh, and flooding. I'll go check on the pond, but I did hear something just now. Um, did you hear that? Okay, I'm gonna go outside um, and see what's going on. It sounded like something fell like a tree. Hold on. It sounded like it might be from behind or on the roof. 
but no, tree fell down, but it sounded like it was from back here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't see anything down, and it sounded like it was from back here. I see nothing, except for something maybe way down there. I don't see anything. Oh, wow, this is what it was. Oh, dear. <laughs> Check it out, the Lego wall. Oh, boy. Okay, so this is what I heard. The Lego wall fell over. All right, it's windy. The lake is high. The pool's definitely over flooding. Okay, Carter, so uh, so far so good. Don't worry about mom. Oh, my oh. <laughs> That thing scared me all the time. Who thought it was Carter? <laughs> Well, maybe I'm really not home alone when I always have the cardboard Carter. <laughs> have fun wherever you are, Carter. Having fun and, uh, did I see lightning? Oh, I'll keep you posted. Home alone at Carter's house. Ah! Okay, in case you're wondering, Carter, I am outside. I'm gonna go down to the cozy shack. Oh, well, I do see something quite interesting. Can you see the trampoline floating away down there? Hold on. Oh my. Whoa. Okay, um, may go check up and take a look at it. If I hurry, I can grab it, but do I want to grab it? Oh, I can jump on it. No, 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 I won't jump on it. Oh my goodness, what should I do, Carter? If it keeps going this way, it might hit the bridge and I don't have anything to tie it up with. Okay, I wish you were here. Tell me what to do. Ah, I don't know. Stay tuned. Okay, it's getting dark and there's some unusual fingerprints down there. I don't know what that's from. Carter, can you see those handprints? Uh, they're on the door, and I thought it was hearing things. Um, who has hands that big? Okay, I'm gonna get out of here. I'll text you when I get back to the house. Bye. Okay. Oh dear. Oh no. Okay. Um. Ooh, I should go run through that. That'd be fun. Should I go? Should I go do that? I don't know. It seems kind of dangerous. All right. Hey, that looks pretty good. Can you see that? It's like a waterfall. Should I do it? What do you think? Everything's pretty good here. Over now. Home alone at Carter's house. What should I do next? Okay. All right, Carter. So I'm all dried off from the rain. I don't think I'm going to be able to get outside to the house garage to finish the wall, but I could wake up early tomorrow. Um, I'm a bit bored, walking around, home alone. All oh, the sheets, I'm cleaning them all up. Look at that. Check it out. I'm gonna reorganize the laundry room. Uh, I know you can't get in here right now, but hopefully I'll get all this done and organized. <sighs> I'm still bored. I, I'll finish all that stuff later with the laundry room, but, uh, okay, now don't get mad, Carter, but I think I will, um, wanted to rearrange your furniture, so I, I brought the couch out by the front window with this big old guy. What is going on out here? Whoa, okay, it's a little bit more cool. Is that, is that what I, I've never seen that. It's like blowing the rain out, okay. It sounds like it's getting a little more Oh, windy it is. Uh, I think I'm gonna break another supercar. That is not good. Stevens McLaren is about to break. Why are there cops up here? Oh my gosh, am I getting pulled over? Well guys, it's time for me to go to a wedding. And since I'm staying at Stevens' mansion, I get to go car shopping before I go. So let's see what my options are. Oh, this is the wrong garage. Shoot, oh look at that mixed up. It's so embarrassing. Steven loves he has two garages. Ooh, maybe I'll take the new uh, Aventador. What do they call that one? I have this one, and that's the new one. Oh, but these colors look amazing. I think it might rain, so I don't want to take this one. And I've already driven the G-Wagon, so I think we might as well go McLaren, Mick, Sharon. Yeah, I already decided I was taking you for coming here. Uh, the McLarens are so cool because when you lift, the doors go up. I just love it. If you have a crazy sports car, I think the doors need to go up. Hopefully the hurricane doesn't hit tonight. The hurricane? Yeah, because this can't drive in the hurricane. Ooh, we'll have to put the top up and then maybe it can be more hurricane. 
because right now it's convertible. Well, I gotta figure out how to drive this thing and probably no Apple CarPlay. This is so small. I feel like I can't fit my heads above the roof line. You can sit in yet. <laughs> I can't get my foot in, this is crazy. Look, and I'm, my knee's stuck. This feels like it's smaller than you. Can you drive it like this? Cup, <laughs> right? I feel like mom was driving. Okay, well let's close the door. Love the doors. So then we just push to start to get this thing running. Do a little photo shoot for the gram. Now it's time to figure out how to drive this thing. Amazing orange seat belts. Okay, I think I'm off. Uh, reverse. Check engine lights on. That's always scary. <laughs> Why was that so close? Guys, I almost broke it. That was so close to hitting. I wish I caught that on camera. I'm just not used to small garages. Okay, here we go, transformer mode, activate. There we go, transformer mode is moving. Oh, don't wanna get hit. Love that this is a convertible hard top, that's amazing. I drove Steven's car to my friend's wedding. It was a beautiful ceremony and everything was going well until I started to drive home and realized I was in a huge storm. Driving home from the wedding and the car has got all tires low. They're now critical and it's constantly beeping and beeping. Oh, there's another warning. All the tires. This is horrible. I definitely should probably pull over. I got the check engine light, low tire pressure, and all of them are. This is really bad. I'm freaking out. It's like 1:30 a.m. I'm not even. It's almost two o'clock. It's like two a.m. No one's out here in the middle of the night. This is insane. I should not be driving another supercar. Oh, the cops up ahead. That's not good. Why are there cops up here? Oh my gosh. Am I getting pulled over? What the heck is this? Whoa. Oh, there's a car crash. That is not good. Oh, that could be me. That could be me with a flat tire. I definitely don't want that. My goal is basically just to make it up big to 20. This is me. Uh, uh oh. Guys, this is really not good. I'm stuck in a huge storm and my tires could fall off the rim, which would cause me to crash. I am freaking out. It's down to critical. This is horrible. Best part is like, this is, this is, uh, I think I'm gonna break another supercar. That is not good. Stevens McLaren is about to break. This is really bad, guys. It's crazy because the last time I was out driving on these roads near my brother's house, we were in the fire truck, the tire exploded and we were straight on the side of the road and the cops came, it was crazy. We outran the cops. They came, searched for me the next day. I got arrested uh, and I'm hoping that doesn't happen. I gotta, I gotta focus, guys. This is insane. Now the left tire is saying critical. Both tires are saying critical now. Luckily, I'm like less than a mile away. I think we're gonna make it, guys. This is the last turn. Instagram at Carter Share. That's where I, you'll see everything first. I post stories and photos and you'll get the scoop first there and then it'll go to Carter's Life. And also if you guys want a personalized shout out, go to my Cameo page and I can film a personal video just for you guys. It's great for birthdays, all kinds of special events and uh, occasions. But as of right now, I gotta make sure this McLaren isn't gonna break and get it back to Steven's house. And it's literally so dark guys, I'm trying to drive but I can't see anything. But uh, we might. I don't miss the turn. Is this Steven's house? Oh, I think this is it. Yes, there it is. That's Steven's house, guys, we made it. Look how big this thing is, it's insane. It's a huge mansion. And there's definitely some kind of like animal out there. I think that might be a deer. So we made it back. The car is in one piece for now. I can't see anything. We made it, the garage, yes. Unbelievable. Hey, mom. You heard me coming. Car almost broke down. Okay, I think we're good to shut her down. Crazy. Car almost broke down, mom. Almost, barely almost didn't make it home. What? 
All the warnings were flashing, critical tire pressure. They're all flat. What's flat? All the tires went flat on me. Where and why? I don't know. Like They were beeping critical, it's so scary. <gasps> They seem okay, but these cars are very sensitive to like the slightest changes. So I had to call Steven. What he say? He says like you might have to pull over. And so I kept going. It seemed okay. And I made it home, but very scary. He says he hasn't put air in these tires for a year. You're supposed to do them every like few weeks. It's gotten cold. And it got it's cold. got cold. It's been cold. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's so scary. <sighs> okay, we gotta pop the hood somehow. Charge it. Oh, you have to charge it? Yeah, I've got to put it back on the battery charger. I think it's going to roll over something. That's what I was worried about, too. That can happen. I think it's charging. So we're good. You can't damage the wheel skin. Uh, if they go flat, flat, yeah, it would. They're not flat, flat. They're not flat, flat, but if they delaminate, they can come off and you ride on the rim. You could swerve on the highway. It could be dangerous. Yeah, it's quite outside. Yeah, okay. Other than that, the wedding was amazing. I made it home. I can't believe it. Definitely do not tell Steven that I almost ruined his McLaren. Oh, but it's gonna be back. This is the latest I've ever stayed up in a long time. Home, sweet home. I'm glad the McLaren's home. Oh my god. All right, guys, it's, it's been like 12 hours since it started raining. We're getting like hit on and off with this hurricane. We're seeing the most traffic I have ever seen right now. There's a huge accident. Ambulance just drove by. I don't know what's going on, but there's like parts of the city that are flooded and definitely something crazy going on up here. That does not look good, guys. I hope they're doing okay. We made it to the team our house and uh, it's nice weather right now, but I heard that it was like a crazy storm blew by. You can see the water still running off the roof. There is like just leaves and stuff everywhere, puddles. Things are literally dripping wet. Oh my gosh, look at the roof gutter just busting. And we're not out of it yet. There's gonna be another wave of this hurricane blowing through here. So I'm gonna keep my eyes open for that. Whoa! Okay guys, the sunny weather is now gone. I was just trying to feed the koi fish and the storm is definitely coming back. I think we're past the eye of the hurricane. Here is the koi fish. They're trying to get their last final meal in before they got all hunker down. <laughs> oh, I'm allergic to hurricanes. The second part of the storm came in and we just hunkered down. But as we drive away, check out the driveway, guys. It's completely just covered. There's branches down. It's a mess. You can barely even see the driveway. Oh, we're just hitting branches like crazy. You can hear the car just dragging them. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Another accident or something. There's fire trucks, ambulances, cop cars. Oh, that car was completely wow. wrecked. Guys, check it out. It is foggy right now. Complete fog. It's you can barely even see to the ground. Okay, well actually, never mind. You can see the ground just fine, but uh, yeah, it's definitely foggy. I'm gonna check back in the morning and see how more foggy it is. I've seen it even crazier, so we'll see. I'll keep you guys posted. But that's such a crazy view right now. <sighs> Carter's life, just when you think there's another beautiful sunny day here at the Team Bar House, you find a major problem. And that is water. So we have a huge water puddle, which you're thinking, oh, it might just be rainwater hasn't rained. The bigger problem is there are leaks happening all over. I think it's an underground pipe leak. This room is soaking wet because it's dripping down into here and draining. You can see it. Look at that. It's draining up the drain pipe. That is really, really bad. So it could either be a leak from the wells or a leak from the swimming pool. I'm not sure which, but we're trying to figure that out right now. But this is a big problem. So it's been a couple of weeks and we've been trying to drain the chocolate hot tub and it hasn't been going too well. We still have most of it in here and it's looking quite disgusting. And it's definitely underneath the carpet too. Oh, that's pretty bad. Oh, there she goes. Oh man, that stinks. Really? Oh my gosh, that's disgusting. Oh that man, that is, it that smells foul. Oh dude. It just, it smells like vomit. So the first thing I did is came up and I'm killing the power to the wells because that's where the leak might be. We flicked the breakers, we shut them down. And so now we're gonna drain all the pressure out of the system of the house. And to do that, we're gonna come back down into here. We still have 30 PSI, so we're gonna open the tanks. Oh, there's not much pressure left. 
we're gonna drain all of these. This is all the water for the showers, the sinks, everything. Oh, we're actually at zero. This thing was stuck. Okay, so we're basically empty. And I wanna see if that leak is gonna stop. It's still going though. It's a big leak. Oh, wow. I'm draining the tanks, but it's leaking in here. Look at that. I think we figured something out. Do? Look at your leak again. It it's empty. Drained. That was full and now it's empty. Oh no! Which means mean? we have a pipe leak from our water supply. To the house. To the house. So we need to get a plumber in to dig down no. and find the leak and repair it. Okay. It's not, so the, it's not the pool that's leaking, it's oh the water God. coming to the house. So we're gonna be out of water oh until no. we get that fixed. Oh, it's, I think we gotta slice the hot tub open. Oh, oh there you go. I think it's gonna clog. Mm hmm. Okay, so that works. You want to unplug it? These pumps are impressive. The amount that you abuse them. Okay, go ahead and plug her in. Alright, moment of truth. There's no air coming out, nothing's moving. Maybe pick her up and drop her in a couple of times. Oh, there we go. There, there we go. you go. Boy, that is dribbling. And that, that's about as much as it was doing with the original draining, too. Yeah, I think it's got to be diluted. Oh, no. Oh, we found the water leak. Okay, let the me turn. Right, this, this whole area can burst. You got to get out of here. Let's go. Steven, we can't leave. I got to fix it. Don't leave me here. Save yourself. Yeah, it's leaking through the wall bad. I think it's the, the water main. So you, you left the pumps on. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that filled up quick. Oh, yeah. Oh, it has to be the main because that's right so here. much. You can see the flow. You can see some bubbles. It's right here. Okay, I just turned off the main though. You did? So pumps are running. So let's see if this drains. Yeah, this um, filled up quick. Oh my gosh. It's still flowing. We could also carry this over the edge and get a little bit of a yeah, it's, really it's going. You can see it gurgling. It's slow, but it's going. So as long as we just make sure that keeps going. Yeah, it's probably going to get clogged. It's We're going to have to pull this uh, turf up and hose the deck off. It's going to smell like vomit out here unless we clean all this up. Like forever. <laughs> yeah. yeah, unless we clean all the turf and everything. I can get that front edge over. That's what we really need is this to go down. <sighs> We're fighting against the inflation too. Flip it again. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's oh, something. Dude, that is something. Alright, slow down for a second. We're coming out on the grass. Pull back. Oh my gosh. Pull back. Pull back, pull back. Let's keep the hose like going to help rinse this down if we can. You wanna pull that back? Let's put it like here. You can leave it, just let it run. Because we just need to dilute all of that. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna smell like this all day. Oh, it's a waterfall of chocolate. Ooh, that's slippery. Yeah. Don't fall into there. This is a disaster. All right, so all right, let's get the hose back on that drain. Oh my goodness gracious. Where even is the drain? I forget now. It's right there, right here. I feel it. We got inches of chocolate. Oh. The Team Rar House is flooded with chocolate. Yeah. Uh, the Team Rar House is flooded with chocolate. That's a great title. I can see the title now. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not clickbait, guys. The Team Rar House is literally flooded with chocolate. We're trying to keep the drain going. We're trying to rinse it down with the water. We have like inches. This is all Mr. Beast chocolate. Is this is crazy. Oh my gosh. It's going. We could add to the top up here too. Yeah, yeah. And try to create like... Current. Yeah, current. It's literally a chocolate water river. That is insane. This is like a deep spot. This is a deep end right here. Yeah. You pull the surf back more than you really <laughs> There's the culprit right there, Mr. Beast. These nuts. Yeah. Uh, so this has been spraying a little bit. We had freezing temperatures last night. Look at this! This is insane. They're like reverse icicles. They're, uh, what is that? Stalagmites. Stalagmites. Mites, because you go. might trip on them. <laughs> you might trip on them. Oh, you might slip and trip on these. The Team Roar house is starting to freeze. So these are three wells, one, two, three. So it's possible we could just turn 
the one off and run off of two, which would be fine. I don't know how to do that. And I uh, don't know, it would take a bit to test. All right, so we need to get on the phone. So if I turn the wells back on, then these are gonna kick on. Yep, so those are each clicking on. The wells are firing up. We're gonna start getting water pressure back to the system. And then we're gonna see this puddle, if everything's correct, fill up and start leaking again. Might take a minute for it to get there. So you're gonna just put that across the positive and negative and just see if it reads 240? Yeah. Well, let's test. Um, Careful, don't touch anything, especially not that. Yeah, but well, what if you just test the breaker we know works? So after about two hours of searching and diagnosing, we found the issue was the breaker. So we're here at the hardware store to just find the exact replacement. Looks like the exact replacement to me. So hopefully we pop this in and we fix not the problem. This was the second <laughs> problem. We still have the leak. We got to figure out what to do with that, but at least we'll be able to turn everything back on. So we'll get one of these. There. Boom, problem solved. Power back to the panel. All fixed. Fixed? Yep. Yeah. One light. Ah, oh, two lights. Boom, all three are up and running, thank goodness gracious. Well, we did fix it, kind of. We realized that well number two was the one that's leaking, so we just turned it off. After some labeling and some tests, we figured out which well number two was. So now we're running the house off of well one and three, which is plenty, because you really only need one. I don't know why the house has three, but it is cool that we do have three. So now we're gonna put the electrical all back together and we should be good to function another day, but we're gonna have to get a plumber out to dig down and repair the actual physical leak. So that's gonna be a whole nother project.